My Synology NAS is an integral part of my workflow. And if you're already using Synology Surveillance Station for home security, then let's make it work with Apple's HomeKit Secure Video all by using Scripted. Hello and welcome to my channel, which is all about building an affordable DIY smart home that supports the Apple HomeKit ecosystem. And I've done tons of tutorial videos that you can literally use right now. So pretty please do take a look and don't feel shy to like, share and subscribe to always follow along. Well, if you didn't know, your Synology NAS does come with its own camera monitoring system known as the surveillance station and it comes pre-installed with two camera licenses. And in the past, I've also shown you on how to expose your Synology surveillance station as sensors in Apple HomeKit all by using a HomeBridge plugin. Now with Scripted, there is also a dedicated plugin to expose the surveillance station cameras. Enable HomeKit secure video, plus also use surveillance station's motion events algorithm to tell HomeKit secure video to record all by using a webhook. And don't worry, I will show you on how to do it in this video. And once completed within the Apple Home app, you can access events recorded over the last 10 days for free, which doesn't even go against your iCloud storage, plus saves you the hassle of accessing a web page and digging through recorded footage. Two, you also minimize network traffic by sending everything to surveillance station first, then rebroadcast it to script it. So for all of this to work, you will definitely need a Synology NAS with surveillance station installed and also with a camera integrated. And to enable the integration with HomeKit as well as HomeKit secure video, we will be using Scripted. Plus I also have awesome videos to show you on how to install this awesome software by using Docker. And don't worry, I've left links in the description. So let's not waste any more time and let's jump into this tutorial. Now, the first thing we want to do is you want to go ahead and access your Synology NAS. And then you want to go ahead and go to packet center and make sure you have surveillance station installed, so which is already been done. Once that is completed, we will go ahead and open up surveillance station. And I will also show you in this tutorial on how to go and add a camera. So we want to go first and click on IP camera. You want to click on add. And in this case, I'm going to stop because I already know where it resides. So I'm going to be using my Wise Cam 2 and I'm going to add it manually. I'm going to call it as test camera. And here I'm going to use it as user defined. And I'm just going to add in the path together username and password and then where the camera resides. Another tip to check if the cameras are working is also use VLC player just to make sure the feed is working. Once that is done, all we have to do is click on add, click on next, give it a couple of seconds to authenticate and there we have the camera set up. So click on next, quick setup, click on next and now we have a camera already installed in surveillance station. Now, once this is being done, what we're going to do now is go ahead and access the scripted management console and add in the system there. So we click on scripted. Let's access scripted now. Click on management console. Now there are a couple of plugins we have to install first before going in configuring. So this is a blank slate that I have over here. So I'm going to go to install and I'm going to go ahead and install HomeKit. Let's click on plugins, click on install, and we're going to look for Synology install. Then let's go to plugins again, click on install. We're going to look for webhooks, click on install. Let's go back again to plugins. Let's install the last plugin that is RTSP. Click on install. Now, once the plugins are installed, let's go back again to plugins. Let's click on Synology surveillance station and let's go ahead and configure it. So we're going to add in the user and name and password that you have created to access your Synology NAS. You can also create a different username and password specifically for this integration, but I'm using the one that I already have and the surveillance station URL. So mine is, and what we're going to do is, is click on save. So you already see that the camera is right here. So if I click on it, we have the camera installed, which is right now in my kid's room kind of arranged it at the moment. So what we're going to do first is let's go ahead and leverage surveillance stations algorithm motion events algorithm by using a webhook and then we'll come back and enable the home kit secure video so to enable the webhook let's go ahead and copy this link and let's go to 
Synology Surveillance Station. Let's go and click on the main menu. And what we're going to do is click on action rule. We're going to create a new rule. We're going to call this kids room motion. Rule type is triggered. Action type is interruptible. We're going to click on next. And the event is we're going to select the camera in this case, which is test camera. The event is motion detected and we're going to click on next and the action is to go and call that webhook so we're going to select webhook and all we're going to do right here is paste the link scroll all the way down and we're going to test it if we see this green tick mark meaning the webhook is functional click on next click on done so here you can also uh, schedule when that event can run but i'm going to leave it 24 7 and click on done so now you have the webhook configured. Let's go back to Synology, to, sorry, to Scripted and enable the HomeKit secured video. So to do that, let's go to extensions. All we're gonna do is enable HomeKit. So we'll go to plugins, click on HomeKit, and all we're gonna do is reload plugin. Once that is done, go back to plugins, Synology Service Station, select the camera, go to HomeKit, click on pairing, you will now see the QR code. Now what we're gonna do is let's go and add it quickly into Apple Home app. So what we're gonna do first is open up the Apple Home app. So we're gonna click on tap, add accessory, more options. We're gonna select the test camera, add anyway. And I'm just going to use the code that's right here. Continue, I'm gonna select the camera location, which is gonna be the kids room, tap on continue. Tap on continue. And now you'll see the option with the HomeKit secure video enabled. So I'm gonna select stream and allow recording. Same as when we are away. So you can get 10 days of free footage recorded through Apple HomeKit. Tap on continue. I'm gonna uh, allow my wife to stream and view recordings. Tap on continue. You can also add any camera automations. And this is going to leverage all of surveillance stations events algorithm. Continue, tap on done. And just like that, we've enabled the surveillance station cameras into Apple HomeKit and also enabled the HomeKit secured video all by using Scripted and its awesome plugins. I'll see you in the next video. Have a nice day. Cheers and happy automation.